This is Reverend Dr. William J. Barber II. When I heard of the death of Darrell Hunt, I sat for a moment very still, for he has been a friend and a brother and a comrade. As I began to sit, my mind began to run, words began to come, and they found their way into my pen. And late in the night, I began to write these words. What does our beloved brother Darrell say to us now? Sometimes the injustices of this world cause us to die a thousand deaths just trying to live. Our spirits die at every new tale of evil. Our hearts break and splinter when those resurrected from injustice die again and again from the pain born of hurt endured that never should have been. So much death, so much in this battle we wage from days past to present times. So many have been lost, killed, and maimed and broken and shamed. Families have died, dreams have died, even those whose strength made us live have died. Too often our warriors can't even be human, even for a public second. The relief it might give to help, even this must die, because very few, even those who look to them can handle the truth that even our heroes get weak sometimes. So they have to smile when only crying makes sense. Love when hating seems right. Forgive when really they want to fight. So much dies in this world because of the battles against injustice. Families, friends, futures die. Injustice takes so much. And yet, somehow, Death never fully wins. The death that should defeat us gives us a second win, a resurrection, if you will, that seems and is unreal to those who want our lives and our lips to be stilled. Death comes, and yet we live to stand some more. We can't die. Not now, not now. When our heroes fall, we can't die. Not now. We must try one more time to honor them, to honor justice. And so Daryl's death means we can't die. Not now. Not now. No matter how hurt, not now. No matter what the system did, we must live because he lived. Yes, he did. He lived and he loved and he stood. Yes, he did. Before he died, he lived. Beyond the beginning and abandonment that tried to kill him sooner, he lived up from injustice. He was caged like a beast and lied on. He fought the money, meanness, and madness of the state. Still, he stood up, blooded but unbowed, to take his place among the heritage of freedom fighters then and now. He lived. Yes, he did. Oh, death, before you came, he lived. It is written. It is done. The testimony has been cast in stone. He lived. So we cannot give death but a footnote here for the story. The real headline is through it all. He lived. Someday we will have to die. And we know not the way or even the why. Maybe we too will no longer be able to fight against the night. Or maybe the toil, the struggle calls us away. Maybe someone sick who hates the truth may take our earthly life for pay or worse, their evil game of play. Or we may just finish our course and lay down and study war no more suddenly or over time. We do not know, but not yet. And so we will not live in fear. Daryl for so long showed us how to live fully. Oh, death, Hear ye, hear ye, not yet, not yet. We must live 
Through our tears and tests, we are not dying, not yet. We must live especially now and fight some more. Death, we will not all go at once through your door. No, no, the spirit of life, love, justice, and right lifts us through our tears, pains, hurts, and even the night. How long? We don't know, but right now we live. No matter how we feel, we live one more day, one more hour, one more year to fight believing that one day injustice will lose its might. Then, oh then, forever, all together we will live in the light. Yes, death may come and we know not how or when, but death, not yet, not yet. We must live, we will live until then. So let us live so that when it comes, death will have only a small space in the story of our being. Let it be said that we gave our lives meaning because we lived, we lived, we lived and ran with patience and courage our race. Let it be said until we die that we lived, we lived, and among the freedom fighters like Daryl took our place. And then it will have to be said, no matter how we die, that death, oh death, only had a small space, too small for the record in eternity, because the record will be that we lived, we lived, we lived.